comes to serving looks, there's only one queen that needs to be considered. Queen of Queens RuPaul Charles. Welcome to Ms. Mojo and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 RuPaul outfits. Head to toe, let your whole body talk. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the most outrageous, impressive, and downright sassiest dresses RuPaul has ever slipped into and strutted out in. And remember, if you can't laugh at yourself, how the hell are you gonna laugh at somebody else? Number 10, black and red flower dress. For today's main challenge, you'll be performing a good old fashioned comedy show. It may have been an episode with a comedy challenge, but there's nothing funny about this gown. The rows and row of tulle poppies float all the way down the tight black dress, flaring out into a gorgeous mermaid silhouette. Meanwhile, the red petals on black fabric are perfectly complemented by the matching red lips and pop of white earrings. Blooming gorgeous, Rue. Comedy legend Bruce Valange. I'm going to come over and pollinate you. This wasn't the first time Rue did a red flower gown, but the distinct flamenco flavor of this one really pushed it over the top. We're surprised nobody called the fire department because this outfit was smoking. Number 9. Galactic Wrap Dress If Bianca Del Rio taught us anything, it's that wearing the same kind of dress every week is not a crime. And you know what I gotta say to y'all? Is that I will show you versatility when Santino wins a sewing competition and Visage wears a f***ing turtleneck. You hear me? <laughs> week after week, Rue sticks to what works for her, so when she mixed it up with this opalescent kimono-like robe, it was over. The splash of purple and turquoise glitter set against the black gave the garment a galactic feel, complemented by a belt adorned with crescent moons. That Glamazonian goddess looked positively out of this world gorgeous. Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best woman win. Number 8. Metallic Hooded Dress And tonight, they're ready to take a spin down the runway in platinum and gold. In keeping with the metallic theme of the episode, Rue served up a futuristic fantasy, putting a sultry spin on the tinfoil hat fashion sense of doomsday prophets. Her gown tells the story of how a supermodel of the world such as her survives and thrives through the nuclear fallout, getting up out of the escape pod, looking radiation sickening and making them eat it. This will be unforgettable. It already is. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the dress featured a form-fitting silver silhouette covered in tinfoil-like details and a long, powerful hood. Grace Jones, eat your heart out. <laughs> Number 7. Red Shimmer Gown Ruby Red and Runway Ready This skin-tight dress served an expensive sequin shimmer all the way down to the floor. The best part of this crimson couture is RuPaul's supermodel shape, with bunched-up fabric highlighting her perfect curves. Tonight, it's just family. So God help us. No sofa cushions here. Her hip pads cost some serious coin hunty with some perfectly blended cleavage, not to mention the diamond drop earrings. Those luscious luminous ripples served up the perfect female illusion. Betcha can't eat just one. Yeah, bitch, work. Number six, blue geometric dress. Even though she didn't wear a dress for her Emmy win, it's not that hard to imagine what Rue might have worn. Category is the future of drag. Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best woman win! With hair teased to the sky and geometric patterns outlining every curve of a nude illusion, Rue delivered a look of craftsmanship that could only come from the expert stylings of makeup artist Matthew Anderson and designer Zaldi. This dangerous duo is responsible for most of Rue's looks throughout the show. The level of professionalism is far too much. The joke is always, it's like, you know, what's your style? It's like, homosexual. <laughs> Number 5. Snake Queen Dress As we all know, Miss Michelle Visage hates the color green. Not because it's an offensive color, it doesn't look good on her. It might not be Michelle's favorite color, but there's no denying that this dress worked it out. With one long zipper coiling around every curve all the way to the floor and a matching choker collar, Rue was the green envy of any queen to walk the runway. The cobra style of this dress was the best seen so far or since on the show, including Sharon's short tube dress or Pearl's King Cobra leotard. It was complemented perfectly with her pulled back bouffant and black hoop earrings. Unlike other drag queens, Rue is not afraid to show off her inner anaconda. What flavor of absolute would this be? Absolute pears in the garden of good and evil. Mmm, evil. Number four, pink polka dot dress. There are a few that can pull off pink quite like RuPaul. This polka dot tool gown features everything that makes Rue's drag so good. 
The devastating femme fatale beat and metallic bell elevated the girly girl nature of the fabric and the silver butterfly hairpiece to the level of true glamazon. You look amazing for a hundred. I know, I don't look a day over 95. Thank you, Dr. Zizmore. Yeah. <laughs> it was all kinds of feminine in one outfit, perfectly accessorized with nude pink nail polish and expensive looking diamond jewelry. It was mother of the house, it was madame of the saloon, it was everything. Hi, Gorge. Your dress is very Wizard of Oz. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Or a sandwich. <laughs> Number three, black and white animal print dress. Who doesn't like a drag queen in animal print? Rue, more often than not, shies away from graphic print dresses, but this surf and turf fantasy must have been too unique to pass up. With the cut and a fit reminiscent to a traditional Chinese Chongsam dress and hair coiffed for a performance at the Grand Old Opry, Rue served up a distinct Asian fusion fantasy, and yet still somehow so right. Serving true tigerfish. You are giving me fierce tigerfish with that dress right now. Thank you. So glad you're here. Number two, Hello Kitty dress. Hello Kitty. <laughs> hey, kitty girl, come on down here. It's hard to imagine the irreverence of drag mixing well with the kawaii-ness of Hello Kitty. But in a gorgeous shade of orange sorbet, Rue gave drag a new delicious mandarin twist. Though the look was quite a little more upscale than Hello Kitty's usual couture, the shimmery fabric bow and playful asymmetric hair caught every light and camera, contrasting perfectly with the plush theme of the episode. Who knew an almost seven-foot-tall man in a dress could be so darn cute? Well, hello, konnichiwa. Domo arigato, hairy asshole. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Golden Gown Do we really need to say it? This dress is the height of opulent perfection. You own everything! The metallic fabric of the dress caught the light just right, and made Rue a glowing representation of her then-upcoming Emmy Award. It's the perfect attire for a filthy rich lady boy in her golden years like RuPaul. House of Mizrahi representing. <laughs> Don't you forget it, okay? <laughs> the bow, the bright highlighting on her cheeks and forehead, the emerald pendant, the rosy lips, all of it was just 24 karat perfection, and we can't get enough. Get ready to gag! <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.